Parker. She's a 26-year-old high school teacher from Charleston, South Carolina. Hi, Luke. And the founder of a new program called HATS, which stands for Helping All Teens Survive. Yes. Tell me about that program. Well, HATS is very important to me. I'm an educator, and I started HATS, Helping All Teens Survive, because of some unfortunate suicides and pregnancies. But it's a peer outreach program that takes care of teens that are in need. And did I hear that they're going to open a chapter here in Manila? Actually, yes, I was interviewing with um, the Herald Tribune, and this gentleman interviewed me for like 20 minutes or so, and then he said, you know, I'm really interested in your program, and I about lost it at that moment, because it would be my first international affiliate, but I have them in the States, in about five states, but not anywhere internationally, so I was very excited. Wow, that's great. Now, if you should come here and yes. open a chapter, you're going to have to learn a little bit of the native language, right? Yeah. Well, actually, I've been here so long, I feel like a local. You know, I'm learning the language a little bit. The Tagalog? You know? Can yes. you speak some? A little bit. A Go little ahead. Bit. Give me a shot. Um, do you want me to say it to the audience or to you? Yeah. You? Should you okay. say it to you? Yeah. Okay. Hello, if I came back. Magandong um, umaga, sanyong lahat. Nag enjoy a ko. Salamat pa. Salamat po. Sanyong lahat. Mahakita. You must have done something right. What'd you say? I said, good morning to all of you. I've enjoyed my stay. Thank you to all of you, and I love you. Okay, that's Lou Parker, Miss USA, going right over there if you want, Lou. All right, thanks a lot, ladies. That completes our first five interviews. And Louis Magundahat, which means she's very beautiful. Well, a pretty impressive group, I'll say. Stay with us, and we'll be back in a moment after this word from Badal Sassoon Hair Care System for hair with salon feeling every day. We're continuing live from the Philippines now with more of the interview competition, and our next contestant is Miss Italy, Ariana David. She's a 20 year old model and art history student from Rome. Welcome. And what do you hope to do when you complete your studies? Che cosa vuoi fare dopo terminare gli studi? Dunque, eh, io vorrei insegnare perché mi piace stare a contatto con i ragazzi oppure eh, condur, cioè, mh, stare a contatto sempre con le persone e facendo la direttrice turistica, cioè andando in giro con... Eh, Oddio, scusate, mi sono un pochino emozionata. Praticamente eh, descrivere le chiese con uh, delle persone che ascoltano, ecco. Well, when I finish my studies, I'd like... Uh, there are two things that I'm interested in. One is uh, to teach. I, I like to be with children and uh, I uh, might possibly do that. Another possibility is that uh, as I'm interested in, in art, I may want to uh, be uh, a uh, guide or... Uh, in touch with people who are interested in knowing what our monuments, our churches are. Excuse me because I'm a little bit emotional right now, but uh, this is what I'm trying to convey to you. That's all right. Have you ever been to the United States? Tu sei mai stata negli Stati Uniti? No, non sono mai stata negli Stati Uniti e vedo ogni giovedì sera a Beverly Hills in televisione. Chissà. I think I got some of that. Uh, no, I have never been to the United States, but I see the United States every uh, Thursday night on television. <laughs> All right, that's Miss Italy, Ariana David. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Step right over there. Next up, we have Miss Sweden, Dominique Forsberg. She's 25 years old, speaks five languages, and has done a lot of public relations work for her native Lapland. Now, pardon my ignorance, but is Lapland like a state or a province or what? It's a region in the northern part of Sweden. It's called the landscape. Now, what would I see if I went there? Well, what we have is called the last wilderness of Europe, and um, just a big, vast wilderness with lots of adventures. And what I think is the most amazing thing is maybe the midnight sun in the summer because it's 24 hour sunshine and it can be very romantic. But then in the winter there's um, another phenomena, uh, the northern lights. And even though I live there myself, I never stop being amazed by this. It's, um, it's magic. Yeah. Now, yes. I, it's, it's cold, isn't it? Oh, yes, very, very <laughs> cold. I love the weather here. It's so nice yeah. to, for change. But uh, I hear the fishing is terrific. Yes, great fishing. And in the summer, you can fish 24 hours because it's sunshine. Sunshine all day? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Perfect for the fishermen in the family. 
Yeah. All right, Miss Sweden, thank you very much. That's Dominique Forsberg. You step over there, please. Now we have Miss Slovak Republic, Sylvia Lakatushova, a 21-year-old entrepreneur who speaks Italian, Russian, Slovak, Czech, and luckily for me, a little bit of English, too. Look at this. You have already modeled, you've published a book, you co-own a PR firm, and you're only 21 years old. What's left for you to do? You know, after when I come back home, after this competition, after three weeks, I have exam for my new university. Uh, because I want to study a uh, lawyer, I want to be a lawyer. And after, maybe after five years, I will be a good lawyer because, uh, you know, now in the, my country is a new situation, economic and, po and politics. And uh, a good lawyer is, uh, I think, in every country very important. And I want to be a good lawyer. Okay. Well, you, you brought it up. There's a different situation in your country. You're 21, so you were about 16 when communism yeah. fell. What, were you active in the revolution, and what was all that like? Yes, of course, you know, for, our, for us, for children, for students, it was something new because we, we are waiting for something new, and we go on the place uh, where, where the demonstration, manifestation, and we, with the key, like, oh, we want the new, new politics, man, and we want change our life, we want something new, and everybody's on the street was like uh, friends, and we feel like one family. It was so great time. Very happy time, yeah. I'm sure. Okay, yeah. Miss Slovak Republic, thank you very much. We step over there, Sylvia Lakatoshova. Now we have Miss Philippines, Charlene Bonan Gonzalez, a university student from Manila who turned 20 while you were here at the pageant. Happy birthday to you, first of all. Thank you so much. Now, being in pageants is kind of a legacy for you, too, right? Well, not necessarily. This is my first pageant prior to the lo uh, local pageant. But what I mean is you, it's happened in your family before. Oh, yeah, most definitely. My mom was uh, first runner-up in the Miss Philippines, so I'm kind of carrying on this opportunity for her. Mm -hmm. Now, she sort of parlayed that uh, first runner-up uh, in the Philippines into an acting career. Is that what you plan on doing? Um, well, actually, I'm part-time acting right now, but it's just so I could put my foot in the water and try different fields in my life. Mm -hmm. Is that what you want to end up doing, though, you think? Um, eventually, I want to pursue my career and become a doctor and eventually a surgeon. That's my biggest dream in my life. Okay. Now, we have been, we have been videotaping all over this country, and if there is one thing that I have learned, you guys have a bunch of islands here. How many islands are in the Philippines? High tide or low tide? <laughs> <laughs> Give them both. Well, with high tide, we have 7,107, and then low tide, we have 7,108. Wow, amazing. All right. Well, on behalf of the staff here in the Miss Universe pageant, we'd like to thank you and your, all your countrymen. You've been very gracious, very hospitable, and we thank you for having us here in the Philippines. That's Miss Philippines, Charlene Bonin Gonzalez. Our final interview goes to Miss Colombia, 19-year-old Carolina Gomez of Bogota. She is one of six children. She enjoys writing short stories and is fluent in both Spanish and English. Now, I know in Colombia you do a lot of charity work. Is that right? Yes, as a Miss Colombia, I have to work mm -hmm. and tour around my country, raising funds for charitable institutions. And one of the things that you specialize in, or at least emphasize, is with uh, pregnant unwed teenagers, is that right? Yes, I, I work with uh, unwed teenage mothers, actually. I think that as a teenager, I want them to know that I care, and I do hope to be able to help them. And not only that, but I think we have to educate these girls, because it's not a matter of only helping them and letting them know, yes, I'm here for you, but, you know, I'm not trying to encourage them to have more and more babies without being married. But I think that the family is like the basic, basic important thing in society. So I think that we have to help get this together. Is that how we curb the problem, do you think, with education? Yes, of course. Uh, of course, definitely. All right. Miss Colombia, thank you very much. Thank That's you. Carolina Gomez. Thanks to all ten of our ladies. That completes our semifinal interview competition for Miss Universe 1994. Let's see how the judges scored this competition.
Aha, Miss Slovak Republic, not surprised there. What a cute answer. And Miss Colombia and Venezuela still up in the top three. Both of those ladies were in the top three in the swimsuit competition, you may remember. Now that completes two-thirds of the semifinals, and the evening gown competition will be coming up soon. And the delegates are backstage right now, changing into their costumes for a great musical number with Peebo Bryson. It's going to be good, so stay with us, and you'll see it coming up next.